Welcome to AEF TV. I am Juan Di Swan Dengendo, and today we're joined by Manuel Morta, the CEO of Morta Angel Africa. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Now let's get into business. Um, what countries in Africa? What countries in Africa possess, present the biggest potential uh, for power generation? I'm going to be very pragmatic in my approach to that question. I think when you look into Africa and to the reality of the, of the need for energy, which is global in the continent, I don't think there is one country that, that has their, their needs or their potential needs fulfilled. Uh, so it, it's, it's very difficult which one country has the more, more potential because all of them have a gap in their, in their power needs. All of them have different resources or different solutions of, uh, to provide that energy to cover and to cover that, that energy gap. So uh, in, in a certain approach, I would say all the countries uh, in Africa has, have this potential, unfortunately, in a, in a certain way, but also for, for investors it's a big opportunity. So I don't believe that uh, there would be any specific country uh, that we would choose to invest uh, based on that factor, because the opportunity exists. Uh, we, we operate in, in, in various sectors and are able to develop projects not only on the hydropower, uh, solar, renew, uh, in, other, in other renewables, uh, thermal projects. So it varies a lot what kind of project do you want and then you can guide yourself which, which, which is the country that has the best resources for that specific type of power you want to generate. So you mentioned hydropower. So what other projects um, are you currently working on? And um, what will the outcome be once, uh, once you've, you've completed the project? So in Montagil, we are a, a, an, in, uh, an EPC contractor. It's our core business. But we are also uh, dev the greenfield developer of projects. And each day in the group, we are trying to develop more and more projects in the energy, in the energy sector. Today, uh, we have about 400 megawatts uh, which we own and operate, 300 in Mexico, 100 in Portugal. Uh, and this is an area of, of big focus for us today in Africa. We are developing with a few countries, a uh, few projects from the very early stage with the uh, feasibility studies, the greenfield development, and we hope to bring to the market as investors a few projects along the next few years. Uh, as contractors, we are involved in, a, in a, we have been involved in, in projects across the, across the continent, uh, in Angola, in Mozambique, in Cape Verde, in Santo Tome, uh, in Malawi. Uh, we, just, we just finished uh, the rehabilitation of an hydropower project there. So we are constantly involved uh, in, in power projects uh, and we hope to be more uh, every day. As an investor, what are the challenges you are facing in operating in Africa? Look, we are an African-born group. Uh, we, are, we are headquartered in Portugal, but the group was, was born in Angola in 1946. So the challenges for us are a bit different. We, are, we understand the reality. We, we understand the cultural cont context of the continent and the very different uh, differences between the many countries that exist. And in many places within a country, you can have two completely different cultures. And I think to understand uh, and to be local is the main is the, is, is the main factor for any company which is to wish, that wishes to have success in Africa. Of course, then there are the financial risks, uh, the, the currency risks, the, the, the insecurity that some people uh, might feel. So these are all manageable. What is not manageable is your understanding of the local culture. This you have to learn. This has to come with experience, uh, uh, and, and I think this is the major. The major point is that for any companies, has to they have to pass through the process of understanding and being there, living there. Uh, they have people who understand, and I think that's a, a major factor of success in Africa. Thank you so much for joining us, thank and thank you for watching AEF TV.